क्वेश्चन नंबर 171 सेलेक्ट द इनकरेक्ट मैच कॉर्डेट्स एग्जिबिट मेटामेरिज्म इज करेक्ट मोनोकॉर्ड इज मीजोडर्मल इन ओरिजिन इज आल्सो करेक्ट नंबर 3 एंटेरोसीलोम इज प्रेजेंट इन इकाइनोडर्म्स दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट एंड मेटाजेनेसिस इज एग्जिबिटेड बाय ओरिलिया दिस इज इनकरेक्ट एज मेटाजेनेसिस इज अल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशंस that is the presence of two life forms which are polyp and medusae and this is exhibited by obelia whereas the dominant life form of aurelia which is jellyfish is medusa stage so the correct answer becomes option number 4 that is metagenesis is not exhibited by otelia question number 172 blood of ferritima is students ferritima is earthworm which belongs to phylum annelida now let us read the options blue with hemocyanin in blood corpuscles this is incorrect as blood of annelids is red blue with hemocyanin in plasma also incorrect number 3 red with hemoglobin in blood corpuscles this is also an incorrect option as the blood of ferritima is red due to the presence of erythrocroonin and hemoglobin is found dissolved in the plasma next option red with hemoglobin in plasma this is a correct option so the correct answer becomes option number 4 proceeding to the next question student question number 173 match the following air bladder parapodia Complates and coenocytes. Air bladder is a characteristic feature of ostic thighs. Air bladder is filled with air and it helps to keep the fish afloat. Parapodia are locomotory structures and are present in nares. which is an annelid comb plates are a characteristic feature of tenophores these comb plates are ciliated characteristic feature of tenophores in which four pairs of these ciliated comb plates are present four coenocytes are coenocells which are ciliated and are present in sponges which line the spongocoel and canals so let us match the options air bladder should match with ostic thighs so a should match with 2 parapodia should match with annelida that is b should match with 1 comb plates are features of tenophora so c should match with 3 and coenocytes are present in porifera so the correct option becomes option number 3 proceeding to the next question students question number 174 ecdysis or molting observed in vipera is shedding off students we know that vipera is viper and is a poisonous snake snakes shed off the upper layer of their skin which is called ecdysis or molting this upper layer of skin is the stratum cornium 
Let us look at the options. Stratum corneum, this is correct. Dermis is incorrect. Basement membrane is the membrane which separates the epithelium from connective tissue. This is incorrect. Number four is stratum germinativum. This is also incorrect as stratum germinativum. Underlying layer of stratum corneum and provides new cells which are regularly formed. As the stratum corneum is the outermost layer of epidermis and is the horny layer which sheds off. So the stratum corneum has to be replaced regularly which is done by stratum germinativum. So the correct answer here becomes option number 1. Proceeding to the next question students. Question number 175. An oviparous and carnivorous fish with placoid scales is. Placoid scales are characteristics of cartilaginous fishes that is chondrichthyes whereas cycloid or tenoid scales are characteristics of bony fishes which are osteichthyes. Let us read the options. Number 1, Petromyzon is incorrect as it is a cyclostome. Number 2, Clarius is incorrect as Clarius is a bony fish. Number 3, Scoliodon is correct as Scoliodon is dogfish. Also called shark. This scoliodon is a cartilaginous fish which is oviparous and carnivorous. Number 4, pterophyllum. Pterophyllum is also incorrect as pterophyllum is also a bony fish. So the correct answer becomes option number 3. Moving on to the next question students. 